Hello everyone and welcome to the next part in our geodesic dome greenhouse building series. Uh, today we're going to do earth and plaster. Uh, so I'm going to start you off with how much dirt we've used because this will be the last of our dirt. Uh, this is 8 foot by 10 foot by 6 foot which is 680 uh, sorry 480 uh, cubic feet, which uh, divided by three would give you about 16 cubic yards, something like that. Uh, that other area, you need about half of that because of the stairwell, and that's two by ten by six feet. Uh, so that's how much dirt we used in total, and we'll probably be done here pretty quick with the dirt. And uh, here's the adobe uh, covered with earth and plaster. As you can see, we've had to put a tarp to keep the sun from drying it too fast and to minimize the cracking. Uh, we're putting all our stuff on a tarp. We cleaned the tarp up real good, got all the adobe off, and then we put six buckets of dirt. Uh, I'm using these two and a half gallon buckets uh, then we add one and a half buckets of clay which gives us uh, a dry mix that we we stomp out real good I don't have to sift my dirt because I have fine dirt uh, other people sift their dirt to get any rocks out and uh, so you'll have to figure out what kind of dirt you have and maybe sift it uh, then we put uh, our uh, wheat, uh, wheat paste, and that's two gallons of water and six cups of flour, and then we slowly heat it and stir it the whole time, and it turns into what looks like carpenter's glue, and then we've got cow manure, which we put in there uh, about, uh, half of this, one gallon, a little less than half. And then we put in our uh, shake from our straw. You can see if you take your straw and you shake it out, you'll get little bits of straw. And we put that in there. And uh, then we'll continue in the next part with our mixing. Okay, my camera flipped out. I don't know where it's at. I'll have to edit that. But uh, So we, we have our straw here, our straw shake. Uh, we put a half a bucket of that, and then we'll get, at, and if you're using cattails, they say three to four cattails for this much adobe uh, plaster. And then we added, uh, at different stages, I'll tell them in a minute, we also added this wheat flour paste, which I put two gallons of water in this here canning uh, cooker and then I put uh, six cups of flour and then I slowly heated it until it turned kind of yellow and looks like carpenter's glue or something and then I, I brought it out and dumped it in and made a little pit with the dirt and put it in there and another ingredient we have here is cow manure isn't that wonderful stuff? And uh, the word on the street is that this goes into your paste as a enzyme and a microfiber of grass. And this somehow uh, gives the earthen plaster a better integrity in its structure and keeps insects from boring into your walls. Uh, as well as giving it uh, some some enzymatic properties, which I, I don't know what that does to walls, but it probably helps. And the quantity of that is about one gallon, so I used half a bucket, a little bit less than half a bucket. And then um, the the order in which I did this was dirt first. I mixed the clay with that dry. 
I stomped out all the dirt clods and got all the rocks and bugs out. Did, did a really fine, fine stomp job. Uh, a lot of people recommend sifting it. I have fine enough dirt that it doesn't need to be sifted. But if you don't have fine dirt, you'll have to sift it with an eighth inch screen. And then we put uh, dirt, clay, mix that. Uh, we added some wheat flour paste next mix that in not not real good but just enough that it didn't burn my feet and then we put the manure and then we added water to get it to the right consistency and then we put our straw and here it is as you can see it's pretty it's pretty uh consistent it's pretty uh it holds a nice ball shape doesn't really stick to your hands too much and it's it's just fine enough that it can be smoothed out real easily and go on the wall that's it for earth and plaster and then I can show you some of our work here what you're looking at now is the wall bef before it's been plastered and as we come around to the tarp after it's been plastered so here's a, a little look at the two side by side before and after you could see that the, the spots we didn't get the rough spots there it got dark before we could finish but um, you know in, in some of these smoother areas it came out pretty nice we did get some cracking not sure why but that that one seems to be drying okay and uh then once we're done with that, um, what I did was I, you know, I, I wet this down before I put on my stuff. And one of the things I noticed is if you get a spot with the adobe and a spot with the earthen plaster, you can see that where the plaster is, the water pools. Where the adobe is, it, it soaks in pretty, pretty quickly. So. We know it's doing its job, and it's not totally waterproof, but it it's just enough to give us that uh, counter erosion on our outside walls. And so we're just going to do the outside and this top surface. Inside doesn't need it. And then we'll be done, and we'll put our dome up. That's all.